Hungry and thirsty, of course, of course. Let's eat and drink and, uh, head outside. That is a weird lighting glitch right there. Yeah, no, look at that. That is not great. And then when I step out here... Okay, it's better when I step out here. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue too much. Whoop. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. At my passing? I'm not dead. The hell are you talking about? Can I help you? I don't think we've spoken before. Oh, maybe she's the widow. Have you heard? The milk drinker with arms as narrow as toothpicks killed Orgman the Mighty with a single punch. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you're talking of about. Of course. If you believe that, then I've got a plot of land in Sovngarde I can sell you. <gasps> I bet it's a bargain. Uh, was this milk drinker's name... Yilkmar? That's the one. Orgman's father has every sword from here to elsewhere looking for him. The poor boy was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You don't think he killed him? Sadly, it doesn't matter what I think. Orgman's father is the only opinion that has sway. He's the judge and the executioner. Is he the jury too? There's been a lot of stories coming out about Orgman. How this milk drinker bit the apple That's of his eye. Guy. His wife, Marla. He's That's cool. you. All lies, of course. No the two men I saw had never met. Sky. But lies become truth like when you want to believe Jesus them. The Who's the real killer then? The person with the motive. You see, the part about the love triangle isn't entirely wrong. But it wasn't the milk drinker who stole a taste. Oh, it was you! Orgmund was my husband. His bodyguard, Gallstein. He was my mistake. Okay. Is there a way to prove your claim? I could go and uh, have a chat with his bodyguard. So, Galstein killed him? How? I don't know. He was out cold when that milk drinker hit him. But he didn't die until later that night. Galstein uh -huh. said he needed some rest. I should have taken him to Ilgrim's. Where can I find Galstein? He used to be a bandit, so my guess is he crawled into the same hole he came out of. Broken Helm Hollow. That's where you'll find him. And here. Take this potion. Elgrim gave it to me in hopes of saving my husband's life. But he was too late. Uh... Orgwin's potion added, investigate Marla's story, or travel to Broken Helm Hollow and kill Galstein. What was Orgman like? A very bull-headed man, and when he wasn't bull-headed, he was pig-headed. But he had his charm. He was always challenging men to fights. He despised weapons and magic, always fought with just his fists. Never thought I'd see him lose. All right. Farewell. Yeah, the fact that I can uh, investigate her story means I don't entirely trust her. Some nerve. All right. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. All right, whatever you say. I'm a little bit hungry. Let me put uh, what is it? Balaman's body in the river. And you go. We left Balaman's body I here, right? Fine jewelry Did someone here. else throw him in the water? Buy some armor and live to oh. tell about it. Hmm. <laughs> Where the hell did Bellman go? Alright, this is a little concerning. This is a little creepy. Has anyone seen... Beautiful bubbles okay, and clean then. Over here. He just rose from the grave? This is... Alright, I'm, I'm fucking out of here. Pieces of jewelry at the I'm going to the Thieves' Guild. He rose from the fucking grave. Oh, okay. You know what? I didn't get in trouble with the guards, so... I don't know. Um... Oh, hey, it's or it's Orgmund! Look, buddy, I don't know what you think you saw, but I didn't rob this grave. I mean, I tried. Oh, how I tried. But this Nord Piggy didn't have a septum to his name. What about those clothes you're wearing? What? These rags? A gift from my Uncle Varton. He won them in a game of high stakes horseshoes. Don't believe me? Go into High Rock and ask him. I'll wait here for you to come back. No, 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 you're coming with me. Who was this corpse? Do you know anything about how this man died? Well, I'm no priest of Arcay, but if I had to guess, painfully. Uh, who was this corpse? <clears throat> From the looks of it, a Nord man who died very young 
and very naked. No, 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 no. Don't put the naked part on me. I think we're done here. Okay. He had an... Oh, he had an empty Magicka bottle. And he still has his boots. What? And he had his sword here. Can I take the nightshade? I can. Hmm. Oh, more nightshade. Is there any more here? Oh, there is. Oh, it's the teleport thing to go to the mage's uh, college. Look at all the nightshade. I should have just come here originally when I needed it. Like, goddamn. This is, uh, pretty damn useful. You're, uh, tilling the land? Alright, whatever. Oh, can't jump over the fence. Can I get over the goddamn fence? There we go. Alright, onto the Thieves' Guild. Gotta find the fence. Because they said it's either here or... Um... Winter hold. Also, I passed the Thieves' Guild. It's my bad. It's been a while. All right, and I don't want this guy to see. He's standing right here. Yeah. If you could leave, that would be great. All right. No, uh -huh. he's he's staying. Avert your eyes, sir. Avert your eyes. You see nothing. Definitely doesn't see anything. All right. So who yeah, do I have to talk something? to? I don't. Who are you? I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of impressed how well you're doing around here. Just keep it between us, okay? All right. Is that all? Our... Sure, whatever. Some other time, perhaps. Mm, some other time. Maybe I won't talk to you more, and I'll keep on not talking to you and saying things. Hmm. All right. Maybe I have to talk to Tanelia or whatever her name was. Oh, no. As much as I'd like to take you up on your offer, I'm staying elsewhere. No offense, but you live in a sewer. Ouch. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure, it was good seeing you. Too bad a things didn't work out. good place to make out. some gold. But when do they ever? Oh, damn. For a second, I thought you were that Nord. I should have known he wouldn't change his mind. What's your relationship to the guild? I'm an appraiser. Tuneria brings me in whenever she has something that goes beyond daggers and gemstones. Uh, well, who's the Nord that I'm clearly not? A seller. He wanted to fence a valuable item. Tuneria asked me to make sure it was real. It wasn't. Of course, the more important question is, was it real enough? Well, was it? It was. And I considered buying it, but not for that price. Uh, any idea where this Nord went off to? He mentioned he was going to try and find another buyer. I told him there's no one in Skyrim who won't know his scroll is a fake. Ever the stubborn mule, he said he'd try Morrowind. He was under the impression he could get there through Torvald's cave. <laughs> you can't, I've tried. Listen, if I could get to Morrowind, I would. Uh, so what determines an item's worth? Easy. Whatever someone will pay for it. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. And how do you determine that? Experience. Knowing what people will pay and how that changes with the market. She won't give up her secrets, damn it. Can you praise an item for me? It's what I do. Uh, I don't have anything at the moment. All right. Let me know if you do. What do you mean I don't have anything at the moment? I've got a whole you find pile of junk. On your travels, send it my way. That's what I was trying to do, damn it. So, you're oh, well. New Let's get out of here. Don't look like All right. So Tolvald's cave. That's gonna be up by the Morwen border, I'm guessing. Then. Oh, damn it! Who locked me in here? Or tried to lock me in here? All right, I'll pull that again. It's fine. Is this guy still? I know he's still at it. All right, let me check my journal real fast. Uh. Investigate Marla's story. What? Yeah, if I talk to, uh... Hmm. Because, let me take a look at that potion bottle. Empty... Nope, that's not it. 
Uh, empty Magicka bottle. And nothing. All right, nothing happened. Was I supposed to drink that? Okay. Let me give hmm. you some room. Maybe not. Let's not do that. Yes. Let's just do that just in case. Who the hell just said yes to me? Oh, it's Valencia. Need something. Okay. So Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I just realized. Let me take a look at Okay, Organ's potion is just a regular potion. That's not too bad then. I was curious if it was going to have any sort of, I don't know, anything about it that would be interesting, unique, etc. Maybe I should go talk to Elgrim. I don't know if it's going to make a difference if I talk to Elgrim or not, but I guess... Let's uh, find out. Elgrim's the alchemist, right? Yep, yeah he is. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Where's Elgrim? Any luck gathering those ingredients? I'm working on it. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Uh, are you an alchemist as well? I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a, a few tricks by reading gems. the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. Are you jealous of her? Oh, no. I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing, so he focuses a lot of attention on her. Um, you've got your hands full, huh? I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore Stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. I guess I'll do it, sure. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak to Filnyar in Shore's Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify, and was willing to pay us well for it. I didn't know alchemists could do that. Um, does it bother you leaving underground? Nope, all right. Be careful. The road to Shore's Stone could be dangerous. It's not. It's fine. Where's Elgrim? Hey, Elgrim, I want to talk to you about the potion. You here for lessons, like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Did you give Marla a healing potion the night her husband died? No. I have no time for Marla or Mara or whatever her name is. There's work to be done. Okay. Indeed so. Oh, we caught her in a lie. Oh, we got to talk to Marla right now. Oh, you see? Because she, she should not have admitted that there was a love triangle going on, because then... You see, I was already suspicious of her. I already didn't trust her. Oh. Let me just take that arrow sticking out of the ground. Alright, Marla better still be her. She is. Yes. Alright. Need something. Oh, I do. Yes? Elgrim said he never gave you a potion. He probably just forgot. The old man's been senile for some time, you know. Uh-huh. I don't think you got it from Elgrim. Orgrim's body had a Magicka one on him. Are you accusing me of switching his potion with a Magicka one? That's outlandish. I'm a simple woman who wouldn't even know the difference. They're different colors. One's red, one's have blue. You check my belongings, but you won't find Orgrim's health potion on my body. That's because you gave it to me! Now, if you'll excuse me... I have another relative, Debris. It seems Orgman's father has suffered an unfortunate accident. I don't like her. Uh, alright, quick, I need to find a guard. Oh! Oh, that's the thief. Alright. Okay, guards. 
Guards? Yeah. Where are the guards? Where the hell are all the guards? Okay, let's... Okay, it doesn't mark Protect any guards for me. Right. Buy armor from Where for a the handout, hell you are... Oh, oh, my husband. sir! If you're looking for a dragon to attack Kynesgrove. Why? Worse. Why there? Is no place safe? No, I just want to convince Wonder you. what it's like for those Thalmor now that they've been taken. Uh... Uh... Wait. Didn't it just say... Convince the guards to arrest her? On the notch. It just did, didn't it? I could have sworn. It just said that like two seconds ago. Oh god, sir, look at your skin! By the gods. A dragon's been sighted just south of the city flying around Lost Tongue Overlook. Uh... Alright, that's great. I understand Yilkmar is a suspect in Orgman the Mighty's death. Obviously. The bastards escaped. Funny, Orgman had a magic potion on his body, but he disliked magic. Is that so? Marla switched it, then tried to dump it on me, claiming Elgrim sold it to her. Look, nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. All right then. All right, what do you mean, all right then? I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. You goddamn son of a bitch, I don't want to hear it. Beautiful baubles. Where's Marla? I swear to God, Sorry. where the hell is Marla? Is she... Okay, I don't like this. I'll have to go talk to Yilkmar. But I'll just go back to him once... Protect yourself right. I have the time. Because I still need to find, uh... That Nord, after all. Is Marla back here? No? Alright. Hi there, Mr. Guard. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Okay, Mr. Bushy Eyebrows, I'll see ya. So... Turn to Yilkmar. Oh, Tolvald's cave is right... Oh, wow, it's right there. That's convenient. <clears throat> Hup, yep, yum. Hungry and thirsty, but not tired, thank god. Alright, we got a longbow, we got a large sack, we got a barrel all empty. Let's head inside. Hello? Anybody here? Place looks abandoned. I'll take these potatoes, I'll take that lockpick. And then I'll use that lockpick on this, uh, this chest right here. Oh, almost. There we go. Seared Dilk Iron Bow and gold. I'll Bravo. take the gold. Oh, God, they both are very happy for me. Hunter's Journal. After trailing the beasts for several days, I think we finally found their lair. It seems like their den is further in this cave. There may be more of them than we first thought, but after seeing the strange columns and pipes, there may be some sort of ruin here. My gran always said those places were full of treasure just waiting for the first person to find them. We've decided to make camp and try to clear out the animals and see if there's anything worth taking. Alright, well, it seems like the hunters didn't do too great. Oh! Okay, maybe this does lead to Morrowind after all. Maybe it does. Oh, this bandit warrior is dead. Bandit warrior? It's a hunter. Eh, I, I don't judge. I don't judge dead bandits. They're already dead. What do I care? That's a bear. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Bear. It's all right. Everything's all right. Got some gold. Let me just... Boop. Oh, apothecary satchel. Take all that, why don't I? Just kick that bone a little bit, why don't I? I hear ice wraiths. I hear them. Oh, yeah, I see him, too. Ooh, exploded. Take the glowing mushrooms. Nothing back here, okay. It's funny, because they were like, oh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a cave filled with animals, and I've seen one animal. Like, it's not really... <laughs> very animal-packed. We got... Okay, it's a Dwemer set of columns. I kind of assumed it was going to be Dwemer when he said pillars and shit, but still. I was curious. Oh no, Falmer. Great, my favorite. That's a big-ass coin purse. 
Uh, I don't want any of that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, poison time. Let's do this. What are you guys doing? You can't get through there yet. I gotta find the switch. I need to find the switch. Yeah, no, Inigo, we're trying to... Alright, this is... This will end badly for you. Oh, okay, here we go. Kill the Falmer! I hope I didn't hit Orisa with that. I don't think I did. Succeeding at life is harder than achieving death, especially when we are around. Got that right, Inigo. Get back here, you stupid Falmer. I can't aim that quickly. Oh, still alive. Stop running, you goddamn Falmer bitch. You're going down. Okay. Was there another one? I just went in a circle, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, Arissa, you're using a bow. Arissa, behind you! Arissa! Come on. Turn around. Why are neither of you fighting the goddamn Falmer? Oh, come on, guys. What, what gives? Alright, you guys move. I have to find out how to not go in a circle now. Granted, I went in a circle because I was following the goddamn Falmer. Okay, don't want the arrows. Oh, look, there's a dead man in here. Oh, that's the hunter. Rest in peace, my friend. You shall be avenged. As I take all your belongings that I care about. Oh, they're gonna sacrifice that guy. Although that guy's already dead, so not really sacrifice, but you know, don't worry about it. This place is not very welcoming. You got that right, in you go. Oh, it's another hunter. Alright, maybe this is the hunter I was talking about. The one who wrote the journal. It's hard to say. Either way, it really doesn't matter at all. Uh oh. Spider. Yes, a spider. Easy. More spiders? Nope, more Falmer. Oh, the Falmer, they're teaming up with spiders, goddammit. Oh, I missed! How the fuck did I miss? What the hell? Alright, we got a nice little campfire down here. Nice little Falmer over there. Ugh. Oh god, he just punched me right in the dick. Alright, yeah, no. Easy, easy. Oh, we gotta go further down. Tolvald's Gap. Oh man, we got that thigh gap going on. Alright. We're gonna have so many Falmer here. Oh, yep, see, right there. Oh, I got him. Oh, that was a good shot. <laughs> Inigo, did you just miss? I think you just missed. It's embarrassing. Oh, that was a good shot. It's a very good shot. I can't see any of the other Falmer. Wait, I see one. Oh, okay. It's three good shots. There's another one. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Easy. Alright. I think they're all just down there. I'll just move on down. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody? Hello? Like, I know you're down here, just come out and fight me like a man. Falmer, beast, whatever the fuck you want to be. Whoop, don't hit me. Alright, good, good. <laughs> that basket just fell out of the air. Oh, I missed. Wait. Okay, goody good. Taking all the glowing mushrooms, because why not? Alright, hippity hop on down. Maybe not all the glowing mushrooms, that's a lot. He goes swinging his giant warhammer around. Definitely not compensating for anything. Definitely not. Right, Inigo? Mm-mm. Anybody? Oh, spiders. Wait. Okay, he poisoned me a little bit. See, the Falmer did team up with the spiders. They're best friends, and I don't like it. Oh, we've got one more guy. He's like right... 
here. Oh, he's probably up. I didn't see a way to go up, so... Oh, no, here we go. Here's the way. I don't know how, and then I just... find it immediately. How did I miss that first shot? I have no goddamn clue. Alright. Falmer. Yep, see, found him. Her. One more good shot, and... Oh! God, I'm staggered. God damn it, that made me miss my shot. Oh, she's making a run for it. Oh, you get back here, you stupid Falmer. Wait. Oh, down you go. Didn't I have like 300 ebony arrows before? I'm just kind of blowing through them now, aren't I? Alright. I feel like getting out of here is going to take forever. When I eventually get to the end of this place, I eventually find the Nord that I'm looking for. Tolvald's Crossing. Yeah, no, this place is huge. Oh, poor Falmer. Ooh, you're on fire. Not that it really affects you at all. If someone blasted me with a mouthful of fire, it would hurt. I would probably die. Or at least I wouldn't be inclined to keep on fighting. I'm just saying. Got a tripwire. Uh-huh, nice try. Okay, we got a treasure chest. Got some books. Oh, we got books! I gotta take these books now. The ones that actually, you know, mean something. Expert level chest. There we go. Very clever. I'm just kicking all the books around. Gold necklace, coin purse. Okay. Uh, seems to be it for right here. Actually, no. There's a. L oh God, I'm gonna get so lost in this place. Uh oh, Falmer. Down you go, buddy. Oh, you're next. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. All right. I feel like lately I really just haven't heard any music in Skyrim. And I raised my music volume. Because so I was like, yeah, no, I don't know why I don't have any music. It's weird. I don't know. I, I don't know why. I thought there was more music. Where that music played more often. Hello there. Oh! And he's gone. Ruined trail book. Map we traded a glass dagger to get is a fake. We can't find the pass marked over the mountains. Should have tried for the rift. Took shelter from the storm in the ruins, stepped on a pressure plate, and trapped us inside. Gildren said he's heard the dwarven roads that lead under the mountains. Have to try. And that's the f whole book. Take the soul gem, the coin purse. Why don't I? I want to know more. Oh. We have attention. Yeah, I know. I see it. Right in front of me. I want to... Who was that ghost? Who the hell was that ghost? Uh-oh. Throw an ice at us. That takes care of that. Anything here I want? Just meat and stuff. I'll, oh, no. It's human meat. Oh, God. I'll drop it. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, human flesh, yeah, no. I would rather not have any human flesh in my inventory. <laughs> Wait! Damn it, I was gonna steal the kill from them. I did not. Check the chest. Take the gold. Oh, got a potion. Yeah, I'm level 66, 67. I should probably take these minor healing potions. Probably not, I'm being sarcastic. Hey there! Oh man, I shot first. That takes care of that. Ugh, what is that smell? Dead Falmer, and I haven't showered in like a week. And in, when I say a week, I mean like three weeks. Yep, I saw that coming. 
Wait. That one felt funny. And boop. Okay, good. Uh oh, that's another Falmer. I thought this area was clear. I thought it was just Oh god, that's cold. I thought it was just the the Charis. This Falmer's really strong. Alright, down she goes. Oh hi there. Wait. God, you're tanky. I don't like it. Get back your Charis. And for good measure, shoot that. Is that all you've got? It is all we got. Well, it's all they got. We got more. <laughs> and you go and tell them, tell them to kill themselves? That's incredibly rude. Oh, that's Orsic. Fake... Oh, it was an Elder Scroll. I mean, a fake one, but... Really? A fake Elder Scroll has a value of... Nothing? Even a fake Elder Scroll, I thought... Would have some sort of inherent value, just because it looks convincing. Yeah, when they said a scroll, I didn't think it was an Elder Scroll. I mean, yeah, it's a fake, but still. Was not expecting that at all. Uh oh. Uh. I'm gonna save before I fall off this waterfall. I hope it leads to where I need it to go. Oh, oh god, I'm breaking. Oh god, yep, nope, broke my legs. And that's why I saved. I am in your way. I am sorry. Inigo, you're fine. Don't worry. Oh, now I need to trace my... St I need to go all the way back, don't I? There's like no easy way out, is there? Okay, never mind. There was, because that led me all the way back to Tolvald's cave, so... That actually was really useful. Okay, I need to find a switch. I need... A switch. Inigo, do you see a switch anywhere? Are you hiding it from me? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Inigo. Standing right next to it. Oh, and there were beds right here. Yes, it's good. I can sleep for four hours. Why not? I'll go to the inn at 3 p.m. A.M. Whatever. It's an inn. It's a tavern. They're always awake. There's always someone there who knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can be. Well, you can... You... Fuck, I don't remember the words. Never mind. Alright, it is, uh... It's pouring a little bit. I do like that, uh... Robber's Refuge is right next door to Tolvald's Cave. I mean, you know, just... Pretty much next door. It's convenient, it makes my life easier. Like, I don't have to go very far to talk to Yilmar, Yilkmar. As soon as I get over the stupid tree... Or I'll just go around it like a normal person. No, I won't jump over trees in the middle of the night as it's... Oh, it's snowing now. It's really pretty out. I like it. Alright. Yolkmar, it turns out it's not your fault. Also, there was a love triangle. It's, uh, quite curious. Need something? Indeed I do. Can I help you? You don't have to worry anymore? The merchant's been taken care of. Really? Then I... I don't have to run anymore. But I can't just pick up where I left off, either. What do I do now? I don't know. Do I look like a life coach to you? Uh? Who says you can't pick up where you left off? Never hurts to try. The courier's office only hires reliable people. The fact that I left without giving notice means I can never work there again. I suppose I could try my hand at adventuring. It sounds scary, but I don't have a choice. Maybe I can help you somehow. I owe you that much. I don't need you. It's fine. Oh god, why are so many people singing at the same time? Thank you again for your help. What can I do for you? All right. say Skuma will wreck your mind. But let's just see if there's anyone else I want to talk to. Then who's the crazy one? Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your well, your spirits. Aha, uh -huh, yes. How's the meat here? We've recently upgraded our menu. Why, it's only the finest meat outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. 
And it's got enough kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? I've brought drinks. Ismir's beard, you're one after my own heart. I would love another bottle. Here, have some wine. That's all I got. All right, then. He's not as enthusiastic now. He's like, oh, I'm not really it's in the wine. Business. You know, everything's changed here. But not the things that matter. There's still air to breathe, ale to drink, vermin to hunt, and men to follow. You, uh, you're special, aren't you? I don't know if you own this tavern, but you damn sure own the room. I think he's hitting on me a little bit. Uh, I own everything, anything and everything. Remember that. That's right. Out with the old, in with the new. Fox can respect that. Sure, I used to know everyone here, but knowing someone and liking them aren't exactly the same thing. Then you're a criminal. Well, things have indeed changed, so behave yourself. We welcome all sorts here at Robber's Refuge. Give me some time, I'll eventually turn it into a haven for criminals again. Uh, no. Then you're a criminal. Uh, nah. Things have changed, so behave yourself. Lions or legion, bandits or bears. It doesn't matter who makes the kill, I'm just picking up a different person's scraps. What do you do exactly? I'm a vulture. I pick the scraps that lions and bears leave behind. What kind of- I'm a new scavenge. When- uh, when- <laughs> When made you become a scavenger? The world made me what I am. If there weren't so many dead, there wouldn't be so many vultures. Can I help you? It all comes full circle, friend, and when a snake swallows its tail. Uh, what's the best thing you ever found? Funny thing is, it wasn't gems or steel. It was the day I found out where the Jarl's court throws out all the food they don't eat. They just toss it down a grate and into the ratways, not even half spoiled. But you tell that to a beggar and they think you were putting them on. You see, they can't even conceive that such a thing is possible. Uh? What are some good spots to find valuables? In times of war, everywhere's a spot. This whole land is covered in dust, and we scavengers, we're the broom. But the winners get the first take, and the wolves get the second. Only then do the vultures get their turn. So you're not even good at being a scavenger, is what you're saying. Alright. And the meek shall inherit the earth. I don't think that's how it works, but whatever you say, buddy. I think that's pretty much everyone here that I yeah, want to talk welcome. to. Let me know yep, the want. boss is kind of picky. And you're All right, let's get out of here then. It's still snowing, it's still beautiful out. I'm going to save real fast. Even though I have some auto saves, but still, I'm just, you know, I just I just do it sometimes. Um So where to? I am going back to the house on the hill, I would imagine. Yep. Yes, I am. Oh, yep, yum, hungry, tired, thirsty. Is my... There's my horse. Wait a second, is that the horse from Falskar? <laughs> I think my horse from Falskar followed me here. Alright, whatever. A horker, a skeever, and a wolf walk into an empty cabin. Did you kill him? The horker says this is a fine place to live. The skeever says... This is a good place to hide. But the wolf, he knows this is the site of his next meal. Is this... Oh, God, I had a cough. Is this before or after the dragon comes to kill everyone? That would definitely be a bad joke. But it'd be on you if you want your reward. Because I can't pay you now. Not when Skeever hid the gold. Damn it, Skeever. Who are you? Just a con man. Me and Skeever, we got this idea to make an Elder Scroll. It was easy fishing. You promise men the future and they come with gold. Horker was the mark. I was the muscle. Skeever was the artist. He turned out to be a thief. Of course, he wasn't the only one. What was the original con? We'd write things on the scroll that'd make Horker do our bidding. Like hire mercs to attack a caravan or thieves to steal a gem. We just about bled him dry, so it was time for a new mark. Skeever gets the idea to use the scroll to lure the fish. 
He changes the paper and writes something about two of Horker's noble friends, a Nord and an Argonian, coming to the cabin the next night. But before Horker could send out the courier letter, those two idiots decided to show up. What happened then? Horker thinks they're here to see the scroll. He shows it to both of them. Next morning, them and the scroll's gone. My guess is Skeever hired them. No such thing as a coincidence. Either way, it didn't matter. It was time for the wolf to eat. You see, when I saw the three of you, when I saw your names, I was hoping that it was a little bit more mysterious than just we're con men. Uh, you mentioned Skeever hid your gold. Yeah, the clever bastard thought if he hid the gold, I'd spare him. But I'm no fool. You, though? I owe you something for playing along. Thank you. Won't be riches. Won't be fame. But you play nice and you'll get it. And if you found the scroll, you can keep that too. It's worthless. What will you do now? Find the next mark. It was only a matter of time before Skeever crossed me. Only a matter of time before I killed him for doing it. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other again. I wouldn't count on it. Alright. House on the hill. Horker's dead. He doesn't have anything I care about. Are you or any of the others blind? No, it's an alchemist trick. A drink that whites your eyes. Of course, with Horker, we went a step further. Uh, how did you find this cabin? Now that's a good question. Horker said the scroll gave him a vision of a cabin in the mountains. But it wasn't anything Skeever wrote down. Huh. Although Skeever could have lied. You can't trust a con man. Of course, only he knows the truth. Alright. I wish I knew where the gold was, damn it. Uh, yeah, no, that's, uh... Well, that's a wrap. Let's get the hell out of here. It's not as creepy as I originally thought, which is in some ways a relief, in some ways it's like, oh, well, it's just, just three guys who, who wanted to be creepy. It's a little unfortunate. I was hoping for a little bit more, I'm sorry to say. I was hoping for some big, mysterious gesture, I guess. I don't know, that's just me.